welcome, welcome. Thank you. Very happy nice to, to be here. Good, 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 good. Mm. Were you breathing in then? Yes, I'm trying to breathe in. Cause you look lovely, but... You know, we're on for an hour. That's I'll a big that. breathe Oh, in. no. <laughs> You're joking. Relax, I'll, I'll do, do it now. <laughs> Open up and do it Just now. undo a button. Shall I just undo a button? <laughs> oh, that's nice, <laughs> doesn't it? Look at that airy, very belly button. Oh, that's oh. nice. Oh. A, bit, a little bit yeah. of fluff there, huh? Look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you. Now, you two <laughs> share something in common, don't you? Because you've never met before, but you share something no. in common. Because you both suffer from nerves quite badly. Well, I should be on a gurney for stepping on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so frightened. But the minute I step on, I'm fine. Really? Yeah. What about you, Alan? Oh, I'm the second. Get wind. Awful wind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do awful wind, and then, and then I, get, I get the feeling that I've wet myself. Do you ever get that? You know, oh, no, wet, oh, no. Just I, before I, you go on stage. I do wet myself. Oh, you do? <laughs> Need a tenor lady. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like me pulled out a tenor lady? Ta-da! That would be great, wouldn't it? Well, around 32,000 runners will be starting to feel the butterflies round about now because, of course, it is the London Marathon on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday morning, all and be kicking off. Brenda, you've run the mar marathon three times, haven't you? Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, that's brilliant. Good but you also practised the London Marathon, but not on the streets of London. Not on my treadmill, I'd have the TV watching everyone running the marathon, but I'd be on my treadmill. This is how I came to be asked to do it. They thought I'd done 26 miles, so but I'd only done about five. Because <laughs> what was your method then? Well, I did a little bit of scout's pace. No, but, you know. but isn't, isn't it true that this is so funny, because this was live, so the London Marathon's on Sunday morning. Yeah. You set up your treadmill, you yeah. turn the marathon on, and yeah. then you run, but only till the first person crosses the line. Oh, no, I, yeah, I stay on the treadmill all the time for the two and a half hours, whatever, but I've only travelled five miles, whereas they've travelled oh, 26. But that's, that's still good, a lot. Oh. Yeah. I mean, in fairness, that's still a lot. Yeah, and by yeah. the way, she then went on to do it three times for Yeah, real. exactly. The real, the, yeah, the London Marathon three times. It took me a fortnight each time to get, to get round, <laughs> like six and a half hours. Alan, exercising you. Oh, no, we don't get on. We don't get on. <laughs> you must have tried. I bet you've tried, haven't you? I've, but you know what? People don't believe this, but you know what years of mincing? I've got, I've, I've got mincer's <laughs> leg. I have. <laughs> on, that, I, have physio, I have physiotherapy. Every week, because me with my walking, that that's really tight there. <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't have it, I'd just walk around in circles. <laughs> Are you out of kilter with yourself? I am, I am, honestly, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> All right, well, more from Brenda and Alan as the show... That'd be yeah. like me doing yeah. the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> We're very worried about... Is it official? Is Mince's leg, is that it's official? Not, it's, it's what I call it, and also I've got glute, uh, gluteal amnesia, where my, my bum has forgotten how to work, where I, I overdo this, and so I have to have a man to really... You don't have to have a man. No, I do! You just choose to have a man. <laughs> well... <laughs> the woman was busy, but um, <laughs> you shot her. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, and I know people think I make it up, but I get asked to do all these wonderful comic relief things, but I can't because it just goes. Because of your mincer's leg? Yeah. It's just gone. It's just gone, everyone. Just two pounds ah. a month will make my mincer's leg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time now for us to see how the one show's official super snapper, James. A fabulous. I is think, she more yeah. Miss Marple, Jessica Lange? No, no, she is, um, no. Jessica Lange? Definitely not. Lansbury. I don't know. <laughs> Angela Just trying to join Jessica in now. Fletcher, isn't it? Who's yeah. Jessica Lange? Angela Lansbury. She looks like uh, Jessica, Jessica Lange, Lange, really. Who's Jessica Lange, then? Not Angela Lansbury. <laughs> well, who's Jessica <laughs> Lange? What's happened? I don't know. But she's <laughs> not right. Anyway. How was so You got it now? <laughs> Nicely saved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they noticed. Like <laughs> anyway. Alan, if you played a TV detective, who would you be? Oh, who would it be? Oh, I'm I, I, Hercule Poirot. Yeah, I think oh, oh, it's good, so wouldn't I? Did you oh. think? Yeah, why do you think? I thought oh. May Gray or Poirot, one of the yeah, two. Yeah, you have to walk. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> and the hairline, the way it's going. But, um, but yeah, no, I just like the way, you know, a little cool. bit. I love Poirot. Yeah. 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 Oh, and you've yeah. played loads of mums, Brenda. Lots of people mm. associate you with playing. With your, Alan, uh, why don't you taste this look? They're in a little bit of power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, ask the fat person. <laughs> Lovely. No, <laughs> oh, you're not that fat. Not that fat. You're not fat at all. <laughs> all right. I think, right. That'll probably fall apart and be well, Now, this Tell is a puffed the... pastry with St George's mushrooms. Just for How's that? How is it? It, that really, it is gorgeous. I didn't make it. A chef called Roger Brooks made it for us. Oh, well, Roger, so. gorgeous. Well, tell, tell, <laughs> tell, tell us about... Where he went out picking mushrooms, going back to the same spot he'd been shown by someone who knew what they were doing. He picked the wrong ones. He poisoned himself and his guests. 
uh, went into kidney failure, was on dialysis for two years, and then had to have a kidney transplant. Quick, no. Alan, stick uh, to that. <laughs> no, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. They all nearly died, didn't they? But now yeah. you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> it was very soon. A great loss to British show business. Oh. Um, but the point I'm making is, it's, it's, it's serious. <laughs> Yeah, be fine. <laughs> Raoul picked them, uh, not me. I picked them, yes. Oh. You'll be sure. You're all right. He's always hated your act. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. So we have some other things as well. Yeah. We have some... Series? Gosh. Eighth. The I eighth know. Series. Eighth. Where and did that it's, come it's from? It's back on Friday this time. Yeah. Instead of a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean you're head-to-head -head with a Mr Graham Norton? Yes. Ooh. It's a camp off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to win. Was that a big decision? Um, it was basically Channel 4, really, because we've sort of been a bit like, you remember the Friday Night Project? It yeah. was on a Sunday, a Thursday, a Friday, and all this. It ch kept changing. So they, 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 they test it out, but um, I, I think Friday, it feels like a Friday show. You know, it's upbeat and yeah. uh, fun. And... and you get the jump on him, don't you? Pardon? <laughs> 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 you get the jump on him? Yes, oh yes, I see what you're... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm before him, aren't I? Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay. You won an award, but... didn't you, for the show? Yes, I did, yeah. friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, I did, oh. But this time you're doing two specials as well, aren't you? For the, is it for the Jubilee and the Olympics? The Jubilee and the Olympics. It's like an Alan Carr spectacular and uh, it'll be, yeah, it'll, it'll be fantastic. We haven't done it yet, but I'm sure it will be. <laughs> to, to my normal standard. Uh, my normal Who've you got book for that? Because, you know, you, you, there's lots of stars around at the time, so you got, obviously, oh, big stars flying in for your show. Yeah, we've got um, and Justin Bieber's coming on, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian and um, Paul Weller. Brilliant. It's just everyone. I think after winning the award, I think it's changed there. I think people, you know. Alan, are you ever tempted to do the show live? But trouble with my wind, you see. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Now, I mean, unless you get a wind turbine, I could probably power one. <laughs> but but that, no, I, I would love it, but I don't know. Sometimes you get boring celebrities. You must have boring celebrities. Never! Never. Never! Yeah, come up <laughs> there. And they're so boring, you've got to pick the best. But, you know, sometimes you're like that, you know. Yeah. But, what you, you don't, but what you lose on, on one hand, you sort of get on the other. Because you'd be very exciting to watch live, I yeah. think so. I think that'd be amazing. Really? Yeah. Well, they tell me off, you know, because I don't know if you've got I've, got... I've got a tick, you know. When someone's boring and I haven't really liked their mm. film mm. Or, or album, <laughs> mm. my hand goes like that and I go, I absolutely loved your film. <laughs> And they have to tell me in my ear, stop putting your hand over your mouth. I'm going, oh, I adored it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, but I'm trying to stop myself from doing well, it. Well, we can't wait for you. <laughs> we can't wait for you. Yeah, no, Honestly. Yeah. Oh, oh, now yeah. you're sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Friday the 27th on Channel 4. That's you're it. really busy because you're doing lots of other stuff. Yeah. You're writing a sitcom as well, aren't you? Yes, Can you tell yes. us anything about that? I can't because I don't want to say I'm writing one and then when I show people it might be it might be rubbish. So I'm just going to try and write it and see if people like it. I don't want to build it up. And then I'm, I'm desperate to go back on tour again, so I'm going to try and write a uh, stand-up show as well. But have, have you started to write your sitcom? Because I know the lady who published your book, your autobiography, and oh, she, she loves you, she does you. I know you're very good friends with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she yeah. said... She used to have to phone you up and you'd do anything but write the book. Your house had never been cleaner. <laughs> oh, I know, I'll be there and I've got all those skirting boards to do with a bit Again? like this, yeah. <laughs> and then you're watching Homes Under the Hammer and then old <laughs> Quincy starts and then you're like, oh. <laughs> So, have you written anything for the sitcom? I've written out a few characters and a few funny <laughs> lines, but it's, it's hard work. Where's it based? What, what, what situation? I'm not going to tell you. You'll nick the idea. Is it in a shop? <laughs> Is it a calf? No, I'm not telling you. You haven't written anything. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I like this afternoon about you is that you got to dance with Prince Harry the other day. Is this oh, right? No, I was. Oh, <laughs> I was, oh no, I did. No, I did. No. So no, it's the tower for you. No, no, no. It's true, but I'm so embarrassed. Why? I was absolutely paralytic, and I saw him in this club, and I started doing the dutty wine and the bow. Oh, That's a Rihanna dance, right? Yeah, up against him. You know, when you're doing that. <laughs> did, did somebody try to shoot you or did his bodyguards? Well, it, 
I think his bodyguards are rubbish because no, <laughs> no one tried to taser me <laughs> or anything. But I was like, he is so lovely. He's okay. so lovely. Is he best mates now as you? Oh, yeah, me and Pepper are always going on the razzle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I, it was just a dream to meet, meet him like that. But I can't remember really much. But he was having, he was right laugh. Well, maybe he'll yeah, come on your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I would. OK, yeah. Chatty Man Thank starts you. next Friday, Channel 4, 10 pm, <laughs> up against Graham. It's a big camp off. <laughs> we can't wait to see how that drama unfolds. <laughs> anyway, Anita is up in that tale, actually. Thank you, Dan, for that. But on the subject, Alan, of things falling into the sea, now, didn't you, and quite an unlikely co hero. <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Alan, tell us the story of you and Lionel Blair, of all people, yes. saving a man from committing suicide, didn't yes, you? Yes, yeah, right. yeah. We what were, happened? Me, yeah. And, me and Lionel were having um, a glass of wine in this bar at the end of the pier, and this man runs in. There's a man trying to kill himself on the end of the pier, like this. Can you help? Asking me and Lionel, yeah. <laughs> so I ran over there. He, he tapped. And um, I... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so funny. The man was hanging on. And Lionel goes, it's Lionel Blair off the telly. Like this. <laughs> I'd have been the man. I would have jumped. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I love Lionel. But no, there was, I want to die, I want to die. Then he went, then Lionel poked his head over. Then I poked my, my head over. And it was saved his life. Yeah, well, we pulled him off. What did no, you but, say? What, 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 sorry, babe. No, sorry, I was what, just going to say. What, what happened then? Because you said that initially, and then this so shocked him. Yes, so he, he, went, I wanted, he went, he couldn't believe it. He looked, my, can you imagine my head poking over and then Lionel's head poking <laughs> over? He says, he I can't been, miss this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang around. And then we, uh, we pulled him up and then he, uh, yeah. Oh, well done. Did you take him for a glass of wine? What was the aftermath? No, no, it was pretty serious. The, the police came and took him away. And did you go and... I didn't around? get a Community Action Trust reward. Well, you should have done. <laughs> I said, I'm not bitter, I'm not bitter. But did you go back to... Did you... <laughs> Were you greeted with a round of applause back in the bar? <laughs> well, yeah, we just, yeah, we were like heroes. We're honestly heroes. Wow. I, I saved somebody that. once from falling over the cliff. What? Well, if I, I was walking along the cliff at Ramsgate once uh, a few months ago, and I heard this scrambling, and I looked over the edge, and there was somebody about four, six feet down, and there was barbed wire between the top of the cliff and the railings, oh. and he was caught in the barbed oh, wire. No. And um, I told him to take his... Well, anyway, it's cut a long story short. No, go on. He, he got out of the barbed wire by removing his jacket. And I was through the railings holding on to his arms and pulled him up. All right, OK. Hang on a second. Anybody... <laughs> OK, great. Chris, Chris. Anybody else saved anybody? Just let me get this out of the way. It's, it's turned into Pride of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bereft, don't you? I feel rubbish. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Ahoy, ahoy. Uh, all day long, Anita has been following.